Hello, how are you doing? This is Big Keeson. I want to share my MS journey with you. So, someone saw some of my videos and they asked me, how is it to be a man with MS? And most times when people think of MS, they think of women with MS. And there are uh, a significant amount of women who have MS. But they said, do a lot of men get MS? Yeah, yes, I'll say when I go to get my medicine, I'm usually sitting there with mostly men. But in contrast, when I go to support groups, I'm usually sitting there with mostly women. Why is that? Some people may say, well, it's obvious. Men just don't like, you know, having support. I, I get it again. Um, I've discussed and been open about the denial that I had. And normally when I meet the guys in um, the infusion centers, they aren't negative, but they don't seem like the biggest talkers about wanting to discuss like I am in this platform, let alone in a room full of people, no matter what the setting may be. But even though... I have MS as a man. I, I don't think it makes me less of a man. I don't think it makes me want to say, hey, you know, oh, I, I just can't be me. I'm still me. I'm still fighting th this fight. But I do think there are a lot of men who need to ease up on yourself. You need to let it out. And when I mean let it out, you need to discuss what you got going on. It's good to hear a different perspective. It's good to relate to people. It's good to just know that you're not the only one going through all of these things that are going on. You know, again, I've raised my hand and said, hey, yes, I'm cold sensitive. And I might see one or two other people raise their hand. But when I talk about it, they're like, it, feel, it feels like church. They're like, yes, hallelujah, yes. I, yes, I go through that. Yes, I go through that too. Or, you know, like I said, I'm not immune to heat. Um, it just doesn't affect me to the same level that cold does. And with that, when people talk about he, you see the hands go, yes, you under, yes, we're all sitting under air conditions and central air and just trying to get through the day. Yes. And I believe that's important. That's important to share with people because I don't, I don't think you should feel like you're on an island. And I feel some of these guys, again, never met one that, that's ill-tempered or mad, but they aren't the biggest sharers. So, yes, men do get MS, but characteristically, you see a lot more women um, who have MS. And as I highlighted, when I go to support groups, there are usually more women. But that doesn't mean we can't show up. That doesn't mean we can't be present. That doesn't mean we can't be in the room. It doesn't mean we shouldn't share our story because by sharing our stories, that lets somebody know who just got diagnosed or who might be diagnosed and is thinking no one understands them. It lets them know that they are not alone. This is a journey that you are on and it's going to have rocks. It's going to have bumps. It's going to have all of these things in it uh, that you have to overcome to live a healthy and productive life and whatever that means to you. I remember a great saying that I heard. It said, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually correct. And I think that is so relevant to MS because if I think I can't get up and, and walk outside and do some exercise and if my legs are able, I'm able-bodied to do that, then I won't. If I think I can't wake up tomorrow, then I won't. You've got to have that positive mindset. And again, I know some of our MS warriors uh, are confined to beds and wheelchairs and walkers. Those are warriors fighting. Those are warriors fighting every day. Those are people saying, I can, I can't, I will, I must, I am. So I just want you to know. Please, please be willing to share, be willing to be open. It is very, very important as men, please be willing to be open. And as
as MS Warriors all together. Please be open and continue to keep your hands open for those of us who are new to the community and those of us who uh, may not share at first. Understand it's a battle and some people are at the beginning of their battles, some people are in the middle of their battles, and some people are fighting a long war. But in the end, we're all MF warriors. So please, I thank you for listening to my story. And until the next time, thank you.